How does SoFi Invest compare to other brokerage accounts in 2024? Find out in my 2024 review video. SoFi continues to be one of my favorite investment platforms in 2024. I have been a SoFi customer since 2019 and I've been using their investment platform for several years now. Let's talk about why this might be the best investment platform for you. A generous referral bonus. Deposit $10 or more into your account and receive $50 to invest. You can get this offer by using my referral link in the description below. If you don't use a referral link to sign up, I don't like their offer if you just go to the main SoFi Invest page. You'll see you can earn up to $1,000, but if you look at the fine print, I always do, you'll see this chart. What does this mean? 85% of people only get $5 and you have a 0.028% chance of getting $1,000. That means one in every 3,571 people get $1,000. By summing up all these odds, the expected value that you'll get from this offer is just $8. You'll be much better off going with a referral offer. After earning your referral bonus, why do I like this platform? There are two fee-free ways to invest with SoFi, active investing and automated investing. With active investing, you can directly invest in stocks, ETFs, and options. With automated investing, you choose your risk tolerance and answer several other questions, and SoFi will create a portfolio of assets for you. One of the big benefits of SoFi's robo-advisor versus competitors like Wealthfront and Betterment is the fact that they don't charge any management fee. Wealthfront and Betterment both charge a fee of 0.25% per year. If you've seen my video on compound interest, you'll know that this fee may not sound like a lot, but it really adds up over time. The rest of this video will be focused on the features of the active investing platform, but if you want me to create a full review video of SoFi's robo-advisor, write automatic down below in the comment section. Account types, you can open a taxable brokerage account, traditional IRA, Roth IRA, or a SEP IRA account. And with each of those, you could have either an active investing account or an automated investing account. There are two important features for me that are deal breakers. If I don't find these, I won't be using the investment platform. The first is the ability to purchase fractional shares. This is important for me because a bunch of stocks and ETFs cost hundreds or even thousands of dollars per share. Instead of saving until you have enough to buy an entire share, you can invest as little as $5 per stock or ETF with SoFi. Here are just a handful of stocks and ETFs valued at over $100 per share. Another reason why fractional shares are so important to me is because I wanna be able to set up recurring investments. I'm not someone who follows the market on a daily or even weekly basis and is trying to beat the market. I want to consistently invest the same amount of money on a weekly or monthly basis in several ETFs. Given the fact that SoFi has fractional share investing and recurring investments, I can easily set up a recurring investment program. Keep in mind I'm not a financial advisor and nothing in this video is financial advice. I wanna walk you through an example of how you could set up this type of recurring investment with SoFi. I will invest $5 per week in the ETF SCHD, a popular ETF that invests in stocks that pay high dividends. You first find the stock or ETF you wanna invest in, click on trade, then on recurring. Choose which account you'd like to make the investment out of. I'll choose my brokerage account. I'll select weekly every Tuesday, then choose the amount you'd like to invest. I'll choose $5, the minimum, then confirm the recurring investment. As it says, boom, now you're regularly investing. If you're curious, the information given to you when analyzing an ETF, here's what it looks like for SCHD. If you own the ETF, you'll see the section, My Investment, showing you the total value of your holdings, the shares owned, average cost per share, unrealized gain, return, and dividends received. The one thing I would like to see here is the total return, including the dividends received. The unrealized gain is just the difference between the current price and the average cost per share multiplied by the number of shares you own and doesn't include the $72.71 of the dividends I've received. Below this section, you'll see additional details with the 52 week high and low, market cap, dividend yield, volume, PE ratio, 30 day SEC yield, and expense ratio. Then you have a link to the ETS prospectus. Then the last thing on this side is the margin requirements. Then on the left hand side below the chart, you'll see the ETF's top 10 holdings along with the percent of the ETF's total assets. In the case of this ETF, the top 10 stocks make up approximately 40% of the assets. Below the top 10 holdings, you'll see the latest news about the ETF. Then here's the view when looking at the same thing for a stock. This is Tesla. You'll have basically the same sections, my investment, 
details such as the highs, lows, dividend yield, etc. And below that, the margin requirements. On the left, you'll have a description of the company, investment summary, and news. Here you'll see a summary of the types of accounts you have with SoFi. Here's a list of the assets you own. Then down below, you have a watch list of the stocks and ETFs you'd like to track. Another perk of investing with SoFi is that you can actually speak to a financial advisor for free. Many firms charge a percent fee based on the assets you have with them, and others could charge you hundreds of dollars for a session like this, as nice as included for free with SoFi. Things you could discuss with your financial advisor, strategies to reach your financial goals, creating a budget, how to smartly borrow money, how to save for your future, creating an investment strategy based on your financial goals, how to protect yourself from unexpected circumstances with insurance, and more. One thing that's changed since my last review is that SoFi is no longer offering crypto investing. You can see here that as of December 20th, 2023, they've ended this service. One feature that's fairly new with SoFi is the ability to invest in IPOs. So as a private company is looking to go public on a stock exchange, they'll have an initial public offering, IPO. You can participate in the IPO and buy initial shares through the SoFi platform. You can also make investments on margin. This means that SoFi will loan you money on top of the money you have to invest. This is a bit riskier. If the stock price goes down, you're gonna have to pay back the loan with less money. This isn't something I recommend if you're new to investing. Another new feature that rolled out recently with SoFi Invest is the ability to invest in options. This is again something that's a bit more complex and not something I recommend for beginner investors. But if you wanna learn more about options, write options in the comments below. That's everything about SoFi Invest. If you now wanna see how they compare to other top online brokerages, check out the video up above. Or if you wanna learn about SoFi's other market leading products, check out the video below. And I hope to see you in another video. Bye-bye.